So here's an example of one that is sewn from the parts that I just showed. So here is the, the dart at the top of the mask. And you can see it leaves a little triangle to hang out in the middle. And that's the same on both the front piece, the, um, the front face, face of the mask, and also the liner of the mask. Um, also, we had pinned on the other example, the hem up from the bottom, and on this one it's sewn. So at this point, both fabrics should have the dart stitched into its triangle at the top, and on just the liner, the hem made. The front side of the mask, you don't have to do any hem. That will come later. So now you turn the whole thing back to right side out and you can kind of even it out a little bit. And you, what you wanna do is push it the way it will be when it's finished. So push the liner into the outside front part of the mask and encourage the pleats to go back where they were so that it sits it sits smoothly and then on the top you'll see that there's the two extra triangles left i like to have them face different directions so that they don't make too much fabric piling up so one goes this way one goes this way and you line up those lines just about like that now in the front you'll push your finger through like this to make sure that the seam is flat and that's basically where the nose sits the top of the nose so what you can do now is take a pin and with your finger kind of where the nose will sit, put the pin through just to keep those two layers in place while you work on the rest. And now you can kind of see it's got the edges have been sewn and trimmed. The bottom has been hemmed on the liner and the dart has been made and placed and pinned in the top. So now we're in pretty good shape keep going to the next step.